like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hey now, it's your girl, Shanita Nicole, and welcome to Do Dream One if you're new, and if you're already a dreamer, welcome, welcome back, y'all, welcome back, welcome, welcome back, y'all, welcome back, okay. So let me say it again, because I added Facebook, at first we wasn't on Facebook, so I'm going to do the intro again. Hey guys, quick disclaimer, this is not an actual live video right now. This is a pre-recorded live video and the only reason I'm reposting it is because people said that they really like the information and so I want to give it the opportunity to be heard from, to be seen from everybody. So just understand this is not live, but it is a behind the scenes of me actually making a video and I will be posting this video soon okay so I just wanted to let you know hey now, enjoy it's your girl Shanita Nicole and welcome to do dream one if you're new and if you're already a dreamer welcome welcome back y'all welcome back welcome welcome back y'all welcome back y'all I'm literally in the middle of three videos I just finished one video I'm gonna make this video into another video and I'm in another video so let me tell y'all what I'm doing today. I'm literally, I was been, I'm in the middle of a vinyl video. <laughs> I'm in the middle of a sublimation. Actually, I finished a sublimation video. This uh, this is another hack video. I finished that one, so I just have to edit it. But I'm going to make a DTF film inkjet versus sublimation video. Okay. Okay, so what we're going to do is, I'm going to, so somebody, I'm, I'm so sorry, please remind me who you are. Someone asked me in the inkjet video, if I could um, compare this girl on inkjet, this is inkjet and sublimation. So y'all getting a first hand because I'm going to do a live, but I'm also going to make a separate video comparing the inkjet versus the sublimation. I've not done a sublimation yet. I'm going to do that on here with you guys right now. So you're literally, you see this up here? You see, so I have a couple different things I use. I have a camera. I have multiple phones. I have this set up. I have another uh, camera holder set up near my heat press. So this is how I do the video. So basically, you guys are going to see live this image on sublimation with the DTF film hack. Y'all gonna see this live. And then, then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna talk more and different things like that in a different video. Does that make sense? If that makes sense, y'all put a one in the um, comment section. So literally, I just got done finish the video. I'm about to do the DTF film hack on sublimation with this exact same image so we can check them out side to side. And then I'm going to make a separate video talking about the DTF. Y'all smart. I just, you know, sometimes this is my creative process. So this is how I am behind the scenes when I'm working and I'm hyper and I'm excited. And I ain't even had no coffee or nothing. I had a smoothie. But this is how I'm when I'm working because I try to hurry up and get everything done before I have to go pick up Maddie. And there's some stuff going on with my family in regards to my uncle who passed away. So we on family uh, conference calls and handling business and I'm calling people I know who can help with this. And call. so it's so much going on all at once. So I'm trying to like my brain is everywhere because I still have to work. I have to make sure I get stuff done with Maddie. But I have to, of course, be there for my family and, and some people that I know and business people that I'm that I'm um, with dealing with family and dealing with. So it's a lot going on. So I'm hyper, really hyper right now. But I'm excited to get this stuff done. So that's why what's wrong with y'all? If y'all come on here like, what's wrong with her? I'm just excited. And this is just my creative process. I'm working. Y'all don't typically see me in the middle of recording videos. So this is the first time. I'm in the middle of recording multiple videos. And one day, this is what my life looks like. I had a tour of this facility earlier today. The place that I talked about, if we want to have live events, I toured it. It's amazing. Do you understand? It's amazing. So I have some reels and stuff about that place. So I had a tour today doing two YouTube videos today, 
finish editing somebody's photography photos, was sent them to them because I kind of did that early, early this morning. And your girl is getting a whole lot done in one day. So I'm so I'm kind of like vibing off of that. So you're coming like, what's wrong with her? I'm hyper and I'm extra and welcome. Okay. So that's just a little background of what's going on and how I'm feeling right now. So it's not printable vinyl. Oh, I do a lot of stuff in Canva. So it's a lot of people in here. Let's see. Y'all welcome. And Tamara, like we said, you watch the video again. Thank you, Tiffany. I appreciate you. She said she want to know what it is. Hey, y'all. Hey, Nicole. Hey, Roxanne. Everybody, please hit the, hit the like button. Thank you, Angela. Hey, Jesse from Cyclone, West Virginia. Yep, I do a lot of stuff in Canva. No, this is a DTF film hack. So I have two videos about it. And um, this will be my third or well, fourth video because I have another video with one about it. It's a hack. Look at y'all. Y'all y'all understand. Sometimes it's hard. Y'all keeping up. Hey, y'all picking up what I'm putting down. Like the video. I, thank you so much. It's so much stuff going on. Thank y'all. I appreciate it. You want to come? I know that's what I need to do, y'all. And when y'all think I'll be playing when I say I'll be hyper and anxious and stuff, I'll be so I'm so excited right now. So I'm just like, ah, oh, but it's a good excited, but I do need to breathe. I need to chill. They're linked on my YouTube. So these specific items are linked. And who is this I'm talking to? Because your name not coming up. You see it say Facebook user. If you go to my YouTube page under the Yamation links, it's on there. And they do have some Yamation links um, on YouTube. I mean, on Amazon. But the links are under my video. Hey, Mary. I'm happy y'all like extra. I like extra too, Nicole. Team too much, period. Hey, Uncle Tyrone. This is my Uncle Tyrone. Y'all say hi to my Uncle Tyrone. He's a chef. Y'all excited? You excited, Maria? For sure. Picking up. You picking up and putting in your pocket? You so silly. Thank you, Ricky. We appreciate that. It's a lot going on. They're talking about Uncle Arthur, Uncle Tyrone. So, okay. So, everybody know what we doing. Y'all say hi to my uncle. What up, though? That is my uncle. I love him. He means so much to me. Hey, Nicole. <sighs> okay. So our uncle that passed away was 93. He's like a civil rights activist. He was uh, college roommates with Megan Evers. He knew Martin Luther King Jr. He knew Rosa Parks, like friends, friends. Like they like were family like knew each other knew each other so he's like an icon like literally a civil rights icon he's literally a legend so he had a long great beautiful life and we are mourning but we are loving him and looking at his legacy and the legacy that he left he's absolutely amazing like i said he was actually friends with martin luther king jr and with rosa parks and with Megger Evers, he was, they were college roommates like so he had stories for days but yeah so thank you all so much Okay, so let's get into the video. So we're doing literally from scratch. So what I'm going to do, I was trying to figure out a way how my place is set up. I can't. Oh, I can. Okay, hold up. This is real behind the scenes. The I ain't even going to say a problem, but the thing is, this is my laptop. So it's not my camera. I wonder if I could. I ain't got time to do all that. But next time... What I might have done is actually have my camera. So that it um I can move it around versus trying to slide all this stuff around. So this is what I'm doing. This is what I'm using. This is from Yamation. Thank you so much, Yamation, for this. This is DCF Transfer Film. I'm using the big one because I like printing out of my workforce. I have a workforce Epson um, 
7720 and I like my 11 by 17 better than my eight and a half by 11. So if you don't know, this one is discontinued, but I love my workforce, uh, my Epson workforce 7720. They have two cassettes. They have eight and a half by 11 and then they have the 11 by 17. And personally, when I do sublimation, I like my 11 by 17. So Yamation, they were so kind to give me these DTF transfer film. This is the A3 for the 11 by 17 size. They gave me this to do some videos and etc. So what I did was I already have it in my printer, but when you're doing this, you want to do the hack while the ink is wet. So I have to do it while we're on camera. And then I told you I'm doing a YouTube video. I'm doing a um, YouTube video right now. So this stand is going to be right here. And the camera is pointed down so it can catch my table. Okay. I have my gloves. I have a little bit of powder in there because remember, I just did another hack video. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm going to press print and it's going to print out. Now the print side is up for this. So you have to know your printer and what you do is because this is, it feels the same. It looks the same. You want to print on the top portion. So my workforce 7720, my top portion, um, my printer prints down. So I had to put my paper in, my film in rather down so that it can print out correctly. Once I print that out, I'm going to bring it directly over to this tray that has this adhesive powder. It's DTF Adhesive Powder powder by Yamation. This is the DTF um, Transfer Adhesive White Medium Powder for DTF Transfer, okay? This powder, once I have the film with the sublimation ink on it, I'm going to pour this powder on top of it. You're going to see me do it. And I'm going to just play around with it to make sure that the ink is coated with this powder. This powder is adhesive powder, meaning that the ink from the sublimation is going to adhere to my shirt. Now, if you know anything about sublimation, sublimation it's only for polyester type shirts, right? So I'm going to be using a Gildan Heavy Cotton 100% cotton shirt. You cannot sublimate on cotton, okay? What happens is the fiber, so it's fibers with the sublimation. Polyester is not real. Polyester is something that's made up, right? So when you sublimate, it's taking ink and the ink is penetrating through the polyester and it's attaching to the fibers of polyester. This is cotton, but I'm just, let's act like it's polyester. So the sublimation ink, it prints out, it's a certain type of ink. You have to have a certain printer for sublimation. You print the sublimation out. When heat activates the sublimation, it releases into the shirt, into the material. It's like it turns like a gas. So when you press the image onto the shirt, it sinks directly into the fabrics of polyester because polyester is not real. Remember, cotton, you guys know cotton is real, right? So what happens is if I were to try to put sublimation on cotton, it can't penetrate this cotton. It can get on there. It's going to look a little faded. You may be able to wash it, play around with it, but you can't truly get to the fiber. The ink can't truly captivate the fibers of cotton. So people are like, oh, well, why can't you use it? I'm not a scientist. However, I've researched this. I, I, I teach sublimation classes. I've looked all these things up, and this is just a quick kind of way. But that's why when people have sublimation, they want to put it on cotton. They can't do it. This is also why sublimation does not work in dark color shirts, because if you're putting ink into the fibers of a shirt, the, the ink is going to absorb. You're not going to be able to see the ink. So people are like, well, why can't you do it on dark colors? Because if I'm putting these gas, it will, it turns to gas once it hits the heat and it activates it. But if I'm putting ink inside of a shirt and it's going inside the fibers, the fibers of the shirt are going to beat the ink. 
the ink is not is it's because the ink is absorbing into it you're not going to be able to see the color so it's pointless to sublimate on dark dark color so that's why people have hacks and different things because people sometimes people don't like polyester material people like their regular cotton so we're finding out when we're doing all these hacks because we want to wear our cotton shirts now we have hacks and i've done hacks before with sublimation on glitter that works there's some sublimation on clear vinyl that works it's some hacks and i've done all these on my channel so you can search them i have over 300 videos y'all so you can search them on there but specifically for this hack we're using film adhesive powder dtf film adhesive powder and we're going to do it on a cotton shirt but people are like why y'all doing all these hacks it's not real no it's not real sublimation no but if people want something for an event and they want to wear cotton they could do that i'm noticing people get so angry when people do different things or if things aren't you know true or genuine or different things it's multiple ways to skin a cat in life if somebody want to play around and find something out and do something it's not hurting you right so why are you so upset if somebody's doing this heck that's not true that's not real you're correct it is not true sublimation all of the sublimation hacks are not true sublimation because they're not penetrating the ink through the fibers of the shirt so they are not that's why they're called hacks because it's a multiple way to skin a cat and if people want to play around and get creative and if they're not harming anybody then that's okay Right. So people get on here and they make all these videos. And why are y'all doing that? And why are you guys doing it? Because maybe I want to wear a shirt one day. Maybe I want to wear this cotton shirt one day and I don't care. And I just want to wear it. If I want to figure out a way to do it, even if I got to play with the powder and do this and do that, if I want to do those steps, that's OK. I can do those steps. Why are y'all doing all these steps? Why, why, why? My daughter told me a long time ago when she was real little, worry about your own stuff. Where are other people? Now, somehow something is, if it's harming yourself or something else, that's perfectly fine. But if people want to play around and do hacks and do this and do that, I'm not saying that this is true sublimation or true DTF because it is not. It is a hack. So it's just a different way to do something. So I just want to be very clear about that, that it's literally just another way to do something. And I am going to do wash tests on these. And then we can see how long they last. They may last one time. They may last 50. We don't know because it's a heck. And this is literally my one, two, three, fourth time doing this, right? I thought I was trying to see if I did another shirt, but I didn't do that. I was going to do a, a stocking, but I didn't. So I was trying to see how many times I did it. So anywho, this is the hack. This is not true DTF. This is not true sublimation. This is literally a request from one of my dreamers who wanted to compare. And we're just going to have fun. And that's all. So let me see what y'all saying while this prints out. I'm about to send this to the print. We'll take a couple seconds to print. Now it'll take that long. But I want to make sure I see what y'all saying because I saw y'all talking. I'm printing large out of silhouette studio like i always do with sublimation you do have to reverse the image okay i have some print settings i have a couple sublimation for beginner videos that you can watch you can get my print settings people always ask me print settings people always ask me things i am by far not perfect at all but i try my hardest to be clear and to explain things and a lot of times people ask things that i've said in the videos and i'm like i said that in the video and i'm not saying it to be mean but as you can see you saw how friz frazzled and frizzled i was in the beginning it's frazzled but i know i started i was thinking about miss frizzle from the magic school bus y'all see how my tiffany gonna talk about me because she said my brain be everywhere which it does so you see it's a lot that goes into it so if i make a video please watch the video. I don't care about questions and different things, but please watch the video because I'll say something repeatedly in a video and then people say, well, what's this? And I'm like, I literally said that five times. Please watch the video. I put a lot of work into this. I really work hard and I appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart. But just some people ask questions that I said 500 times and I'm like, I'm never coming rude because I'm not a rude person. So I'm never coming rude, but I'm just like, 
it's in the video, you know, and, and you can't read the comments, like texting and stuff. You don't know the tone. So I'm never coming rude if I say that. I'm just saying it because it's in the video. I said it. I'm not coming like, you sure why I don't come attitude or rude to y'all because I love y'all and I appreciate y'all. So I don't want that to be um, misconstrued about that. But yeah, so um, that's about to print and I'm gonna see what y'all saying. I'm going to print it out. As soon as I print it out, I'm going to bring it over here, put the, put my gloves on. Let me put my gloves on now. Put the powder on. Once I put the powder on, I have to do something called cure it, which is put it up under my heat press. And then we're going to press it on the shirt. And then we're going to compare that same image to the inkjet one. Okay. So let's see. Let me take this off real quick. And then I did the inkjet one because everybody doesn't have a sublimation printer and they may want to do multiple color things. Let's see. I know. Definitely. Wow. Hey, Fee. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Lashonda. What up, though, Valerie? You know what it is. Hmm. Oh, his stories were amazing, Joanna. Hey, Marissa. Yeah, you didn't know that? Yep, you can use sublimation on DCFM. Hey, Twyla. Hey, Dreamers. Hey, Angela. I love the hack, too. CJ Spice, I've never used infusible ink yet. So I can't. I'm not... Um, at liberty to answer that question because I have not used it yet. So maybe somebody can help CJ Spice because I don't, I haven't used that yet. Thanks. And everybody doing the hacks. I'm not, I didn't make it up. <laughs> Angela, see it, period. <laughs> yep. I, I can't wait to do the wash test so we can see how it goes. Yeah. I like, I love, I love, the hacks are one of my favorites. Don't be mad. And Angela says she's done a hack and she's done a wash test and she hasn't had any issues. So that gives us hope. So that's really good to know. Fee, Fee <laughs> you about to have me cracking up. Hey, Korean. Hey, Texas. Yay. I'm happy you happy. Man, I, do you understand? I definitely need I need to trademark that, too. I got some stuff in the works for trademark. So I need to trademark that, too. Maddie, like, worry about your own self. I was like, then she said something else one time. I was, let me get to the hack. We'll talk about that later. Yep, Kenya, Kenya yep. I'm hearing the watch test work out great, too. I just haven't done it yet. So, but yeah, I have heard they have. Hey, Monica. Lafayette, Louisiana. You might be one of my cousins. What y'all know about BMF? Yep, what up though? Detroit through and through. So uh, Nicole is helping you. What up though from Detroit? You saw where they don't cure it? Ooh, maybe I could do a video and see how that worked and watch that one. Maybe it could be another video. Okay, so now we have that. Let me go ahead, print this out, and then we're going to put it on there. And then we are going to see how it works. Do I got enough room to go up under my table so y'all can see me on the other side? I'm going to see. So how my table set up, <laughs> I have to go up under there. So sometimes I bump my head. So I might, when I print it out, I might go on the other side so y'all could see me doing it. We're going to see. If I bump my head, y'all can laugh. I don't care. Because <laughs> uh, I don't have a lot of space, but I work with what I got. You understand? So my table, sometimes I have to go up under there. Well, not sometimes. That's the only way I can get on the other side. Is to go up under there. So let me set my video up. Yeah, y'all can see it. Okay, cool. This y'all behind the scenes of a video. This is kind of cool. Uh, 
how many multiple? Like 15, 20? Mm -hmm. But see, Maria, what happens is when we talk about making, what you have to work, what you have to consider is how much you're charging for things and how much you charge for things depends on you and how comfortable you are. If you make these, you could tell them. So let's say they want an all colorful. Let's say it's for your family because we know about copyright. So let's say your family wants a, I don't know what's the kid cartoon right now, but Coco Melon. So let's say your family wants Coco Melon and you're doing it for your family and it's a birthday party. And so you want to make everybody all those colors so you don't have to do all the layering for vinyl, all the weeding for vinyl. And let's say you don't have a sublimation so you could do the inkjet hat. Or let's say you... Cause see, I don't know what the difference would be if I'm, if I have, oh, so let's say you don't have any polyester shirts. Cause that's the only difference. Let's say you don't have any polyester shirts. You don't have time to order any online, but you could run up to Michael's and grab some cotton shirts. Then this hack would be worth it in that, you know, in that instance, if you're making something that's like a um, uh, graduation colorful shirt for someone with their picture and I'm the mom of the graduate and different things like that, that's not copyright. You can charge a little bit more for those particular items to cover your cost of the DTF film. You get what I'm trying to say? So if it was all vinyl, it would be one thing. But if you want the color, then you just add those couple dollars in your price so that you won't be coming out of pocket. <laughs> this thing failed. Whew. And see, I ain't never had no white land. I mean, no black land on here. And I got a black land on her today. I'm trying to see if I want to print it out again or just do it. We just go. We just go do it like Nike. So there is a little bit of a line that's on there from the rollers. I did not have that on the other times I did it, but it's okay. So now what I'm going to do is. I'm making sure that this is set up right. And typically I have to bring my light closer so it could get on there. And I'm going to go on the other side so y'all can see me. But this is my ring light. So this is how I do my videos. When I say I got to bring my light closer, et cetera, this is how I got to do it. So now I'm going to go on the other side. Ugh. Y'all in two places at one time. Y'all in the lab and y'all in the video. Okay, so now I'm back here. My camera is right here. Did I press record? I would have cried if I ain't press record, y'all. I press record. And now, and all this time, this ink is drying. That's why I was like, I got to hurry up. I'm pouring the adhesive powder on top of the ink. Now, I don't think nobody said rush. That's just what I did. Now, the good thing about this ink, the good thing about this ink, I mean, that ink powder, is that when you're done with it, that's why it's in a tray, I just pour it back in here. I close this up, and I personally put it in a plastic bag and put it over to the side. So now, this is all covered up, right? I'm making sure I'm in the frame. Okay, so now it's covered up because you need the powder on the ink so that it can adhere. And it's okay if the powder gets on here because this purple thing, I just put it back in there too. My mat. And what I'm doing is I'm rolling it. And what's happening that you guys can't see here, you have to watch the other videos, is that as I roll it, I'll bring it over there before I cure it. Is that... This powder is sticking to the ink. And I don't know because it's a hack what's the right amount of times, but I typically do 10 times. And I don't know if that was more or less 10 times or not because I wasn't counting as I was talking. But, and I'm not going to do this hack every single day. And so it's not going to be something that I do all the time. I typically even may even put a mask on because it is powder. That's just up to you. I know I personally, I do crafts like 
if I need this for something, and I actually think I do need this to make my little cousin something. So I'm going to do it for that. But if you're selling this, I want you to be mindful of your wash hacks. When you're selling something, you have a different responsibility because you are putting your name and your brand on something. So if you're selling something, I want you to make sure that you test it, you wash it, you do all the things that you need to do while you selling something to somebody. Now, something I noticed um, every time I did this is that even though you don't see ink, it could be roller ink on here. And I'm sorry you can't see me on a live, but y'all know I'm doing a video too. And if you don't know, the other dreamers that been here, let them know I'm doing a video behind the scenes as I'm doing a live. So what I'm doing is I'm cutting off the excess film in case it is like some black ink that I don't see. Because what happens is once I put the heat on there, it's going to activate it. So let's say if it's a strip, a strip of black right here, I physically can't see it. But as soon as the heat get on there, it'll activate it. For this, it's not that big of a deal. But I'm going to lay that there. Come back around my table. And then what I have to do now is move my, my ring light over to my heat press. So this is really behind the scenes. And I know some um, film got powder got on here, but that's perfectly okay. So I'm going to show y'all what it looks like. And I'm going to show y'all. You want it to be completely covered. And see, my hand touched a part of it. So I'm covering it back up. Because the adhesive part, the ink won't stick if the adhesive part is not covered. So let me show you what it looks like. This is what it looks like. Y'all see the coverage on there? All right, I'm showing my camera because that's going to be in a video. Okay, turn this camera off. And I either have my other camera ready or I bring this camera over to the other side. It all depends. And I'm just making sure it's all covered, the top, the bottom, the sides, because... Okay, so now I'm putting this under my heat press. I'm going to turn y'all over a little bit. Okay. Y'all rocking and rolling today. Okay, let's get y'all. Okay, so now here's the heat press. Now over here... I have a chair that's a little bit of higher chair. And then I have, this is another stand. This is some parchment paper. And I have this already out and ready for me. Here's the shirt. I lint rolled this shirt already. And I heat, um, I uh, took the moisture out and pre-pressed pre this, this shirt. So I have that hanging on the back of my shirt. I'm going to take this phone and I'm going to put it. On here, let's see. Okay, so that I can get the recording of the heat press. Okay, so let me set that up. And I typically would have put my light over there, but I can't do all of that today. But you, I will typically have my ring light over here. So now I'm going to what they call cure that adhesive powder to the film. Now I have like a, it's like a clamshell. So you want to press it down, but you don't want it to touch the ink. One of mine, it did touch it before. So I'm making sure that you can see it on my other phone and you guys can just see a little bit of it, but I'm going to cure it for like, my heat press is currently on 325 for 45 seconds. So I'll probably do this twice. And this is just a process. Like I said, it's a lot. You don't have, a, well, it can, it can be a lot to somebody. Some people may not care about it. You know, it's just your preference. 
nothing is right or wrong in crafting, in my opinion, unless it's, you know, something offensive or something like that. And I made a mistake and I touched it, y'all. Oh, I never do that before. It's because I'm doing too much. Guess what I'm about to do? I'm about to slash some more stuff on there. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. And as soon as I touched it, I put it back on there. It's okay. All right. So now I'm going to do it again. And I might do it three times since I made that mistake. So far, the results, I like these results, though. So I really like this hack, and I'm not just saying it. I think this is pretty cool. And when you're in a groove and I'm, you're not explaining at the same time, it does not take long. The steps are just boom, boom, boom when you're just doing it. So because I'm trying to make sure I explain things and do two things, at three things at once, but typically it's not that hard. Like, How are you doing all that? If I want to do it, I'm going to do it. So, and what happens is you could kind of see the cure in a little bit. So, I think I'm just doing it for half of it, just because I want to make sure it's fine, because I touched it a little bit. So, I do it for like 25 more seconds, possibly. All right, I'm done. I did for 20 more seconds. Okay, so now it's cured. Look how cute she is. And what's going to happen is the ink is going to activate her even more. I mean, the heat is going to activate her even more. So I'm setting her down. Can y'all see me? I'm taking a shirt. Putting it here. I'm showing the people on my video. Yeah, I was not recording over here, but that's okay. It was just a curing, so I'm going to have to show that part. And I'll just say how long I cured it. Because I was not recording. All right. So now we are going to put the shirt on here. It's a line in the middle of the shirt that represents the middle of the shirt. You can kind of bend your image, just place it down. And what I'm personally going to do is I'm going to tape it because my heat press sometimes pulls my images up. And this is a cool peel. And I already see... That Like I told you, the heat activates the sublimation ink. I can see it, but I'm not about to fix all that. I'm not about to cut it no more. So I'm taping it down. This is Cricut Heat Transfer Tape. And that means it can withstand the heat. And then, can y'all see me? Okay. And then I'm going to press it at 325 for 45 seconds. All right. I think I might just keep recording because I might forget to turn it back on. So I'm we're hitting my record so I won't forget the reveal. It's going to be a little bit dark. Let me see what y'all saying. Y'all see the stuff that we be doing? And I still got to edit it. I'm hot. Hey, y'all. Okay, let's see. It's okay. I'm going to do it. It's gonna, you going to have a replay and I'm going to do another video. Hey, Aisha. Okay. All right. So I'm making sure my video is recording. And then, so what happens is when my heat press pulls it up, I make sure that I'm... Um, now, this looks so pretty, y'all. Uh, but you definitely can see some of the black on here. Ooh, it look pretty though. I'm going to show you. So let me get my video real quick. One second, y'all. I'm going to bring it right over to y'all so y'all can see it. And one second. 
So let me bring y'all in. Now I do have some of that black tracker on here. That's okay though. These colors, these colors look so good. So let me show y'all what they look like. Look how good the colors look though. This is a DTF film sublimation hat. This is a cool peel. So I took it off the heat press because sometimes when it's on a heat press, it's still heating up and getting hot. So I take it off of there so it could cool off. And what I would have done is I would have already transferred my powder back into the pouch. And then I would have been able to lay this down because I would have already been doing that. But since I'm talking now, so different. But baby, these colors... Oh my goodness. Now there were some, like I said, some little, I don't even know, I guess that's rolling things, but baby, it don't even matter. She looks so cute. Oh yeah, I do see the rolling tracks. Mine didn't do that before on none of the other ones. So, yeah. But this is how I look, I'm letting it cool off. I scared you? What a how I scare you? Thank you so much. Thank you all for answering people's questions. Hey, Terry. I did hear the heat gun does good. My image is from Creative Fabrica. You guys can use my links for that. Thank y'all for answering. I love y'all. Please help. Yeah, people, if y'all see I can't answer, y'all please answer for me. Y'all are so sweet. So make sure y'all use my Yamation links if y'all get it. Please use my links. That helps me. If y'all get the image, please use my, creative, use my Creative Fabrica link. That helps me as well. So all these things help me. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just move this over. Since I didn't have time to pour, because I will pour this back in the pouch. So I'm going to just move it for right now so I could do the reveal on the video. And so y'all can see the reveal too. Okay. So let me scoot this back over this way. And let people know that I'm doing the behind the scenes of the video and that I'm going live. So like, why she got this camera? This right here, because I'm doing behind the scenes too. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this camera back on so that I can make sure I do the reveal. I always want to make sure I'm doing a reveal. And you know what? Technically, I would have been doing a TikTok too or a real or short. So what I would have done is as I'm doing the things this way, I have another phone and I'm doing it the other, the other way, landscape and portrait. So I try to do not two birds out of one stone. And that's why I have multiple... Um, stands or whatever you want to call them okay so now I make sure that this is in the frame and I typically have music on and I'm dancing and stuff too or motivational or scripture one of the two okay so now we're going to do the reveal and we're going to see how it looks because it's cool to the touch you want it to be cool and then we're going to see what it looks like. And then we are going to, oh, Lord. Oh, no. Look like I should have let it cool. Oh, no, wait. Am I fine? Oh, we did. Okay, I was scared. I thought I messed it up, but I did. All right. So I'm going to show you all one second, and then we're going to press it one more time. So the ink came off really, really good. And then what we're going to do, I'm going to show you, and then we're going to press it again up under the um, up under the heat press. I'm kind of mad she got these rollers on her because I ain't had that before, but it's okay. So that's how she looked. Then I'm going to show you the comparison. My image is large, so I use Silhouette Studio. Yeah, with your tank, you can't. All right. So that's how she look. And I'm going to 
put her back under the heat press for like 12 more seconds to just uh, make sure she's inside of the shirt. Then I'll show y'all what they look, what they look like. Let me scoot you over. And I'm sorry if I scared y'all with my noises. I don't know what I did to scare y'all, but I'm sorry. Okay. So I have parchment paper. You don't want to use butcher paper because butcher paper is different. Parchment paper is waxy. So the waxy won't stick. Butcher paper can possibly stick to your image. So I'm going to place that over there. And I'm going to just press it one more time. Okay. Let me see how long I want to do this. All right, and so it comes right off because it's parchment paper. And then let's see the final image. Let's scoot y'all back over. And then now all of these parts I have to edit and voice over and all of that stuff to y'all. Oh, I hope my light don't fall over. My light is trying to fall over, y'all. Hold up. Y'all, this light, if this light fall over, it's going to hit my MacBook. <laughs> and ain't nobody got time for that. And y'all going to fall on the floor. Okay? Sorry about that. I had to make sure that light didn't fall on y'all. And this is how she looks. Oh, she's so adorable. Once again, I got the image from Creative Fabrica, the DCF film, and the adhesive powder from Yamation. All of my links will be down in this description and my other video's description is not there right now. So you go to another one of my videos and it'll be there. Um, please use my links if y'all get it. I appreciate that. But this is how she looks. Okay. Yep. Hey, everybody. And I'm sorry I can't see y'all comments right now. I'm giving y'all so much love from right here, though. Now, let's look at the difference. Okay. So, I see a couple differences already. One, the red is darker or deeper on the sublimation, in my opinion. I don't know if y'all can see it. And then the girl, the sublimation adheres to the fabrics. I explained that earlier in the video. You guys wanna, may want to rewind that. So because it adhered to the video, it looks like, I mean, adhered to the video, adhered to the fibers, it looks like it's more penetrated than this one, than the inkjet. The inkjet, you can see maybe a little bit of like white through her head. Can you see that, the brown? But you see the brown is completely covered on her. Can y'all see the difference? This is the sublimation. This is the, let me get y'all, let me get y'all in a different, let me get y'all in a better position. Let me move this again. Y'all, this light, please don't fall light. So let me show y'all the difference again. This one is the sublimation. This one is the inkjet. So, y'all see, she looks absolutely amazing, but she's more covered with sublimation. Can y'all see the brown is, is more into the fibers with the sublimation? And the, and the sublimation is more vibrant. This is the sublimation one. They both look great, though. So you can do it, but this sublimation, sublimation just pops. Y'all know I love me some sublimation. But the sublimation definitely just looks brighter. It's more vibrant. Let me get it more in the light. This is sublimation in the light. Let me switch sides. Can you guys see that difference? You can see it in the hair too. They both are beautiful. It can get done. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to do a wash test and then probably within the next week. 
because I got to I gotta wear this one a couple times because I'll be wearing these shirts. But yeah. So DTF, sublimation. They both look great. Both DTF film. Yamations, adhesive powder and film. I don't know anyone else's. That's the only one that I know. This looks so good. She's just so adorable. Yeah, this looks amazing. And yeah, y'all, on 100% white cotton. I explained in the beginning the colors and different things like that. So people who came in later, please watch the replay. The replay explains a lot about just sublimation. I answer questions. Um, I mean, I answer questions that people had asked, and not necessarily today, but period. Make sure y'all unplugging your items. Make sure y'all being safe. Okay. Okay, guys. In case you came at the end, this was a pre-recorded live. I was live, and then I just edited some things out so you guys could get to the point. But I thank you guys so much for watching, and that's a wrap. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, holla at your girl. Please join our Facebook group, Crafty Queen Dreamer. We love it over there. Follow me on Instagram, do dream when is the handle. TikTok, do dream when is the handle. And I love y'all. Did y'all know that? I think y'all knew that. Anywho, y'all be safe out there. You hear? Bye. Thank you for your time. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.